Hello dear friends and a very warm welcome to this uh, small doubt solving session back again on topic leprosy treatment guidelines. I'd like to start with a small quote that science, my lad, is made up of mistakes but they are mistakes which it is useful to make because they lead little by little to the real truth. And this is a quote taken from a journey to the center of earth and let's get started and talk about the leprosy treatment guidelines. Why did I take this topic? Because I started getting a lot of queries on WHO is saying this is the treatment and uh, uh, NLEP is saying this is the treatment which of the following is true. What do you want me to remember for the exam? So please remember we are uh, technically for the treatment guidelines you need to learn two different types of treatment. One which was given by the WHO 2018 guidelines and other which is currently under the training manual for medical officers 2019 NLEP National Leprosy Eradication Program Ministry of Health and Family Welfare guidelines. So let's get started and talk about them. First, let us talk about the WHO 2018 guidelines. What are the points you need to remember for WHO 2018? But before I talk the guidelines, do you know that what is the current treatment modality that we are offering? Currently for posse bacillary, we are giving two drugs that is rifampicin and dapson. And for multi bacillary, we are giving three drugs that is clofazamine plus rifampicin plus dapson, right? In case you don't know what is all this or in case you don't understand what is a posse bacillary and what is a multi bacillary leprosy, Please hit back to the marrow videos where uh, in community medicine I have discussed uh, in detail about leprosy and of course Malcolm Pinto sir has done a marvelous extraordinary job in explaining everything in detail about leprosy. So make sure you hit those videos and you see them again in case you un don't understand this. However, in case you would, let me talk to you about the WHO guidelines. The WHO somewhere in 2018 under the global leprosy program, they had formulated a GDG that is the guideline development group and they formulated a grade association or a grade guideline. So the grade association that is grading of recommendations, assessments, development and evaluation for leprosy. So these were the two organizations which were responsible for changing or recommending the WHO 2018 guidelines. So what was the WHO 2018 guidelines? Earlier we were giving two drugs for posse bacillary, three drugs for multi bacillary. WHO wanted to have a simplified version and same three drugs for all the leprosy cases and remove these two drug regime. So now they wanted the same drug with posse bacillary for six months and multi bacillary for 12 months regime. So they devised something called as a monthly dose or a daily dose. Monthly doses were rifampicin and clofazamine, monthly doses. And on daily doses, again, we had clofazamine and dapson. So technically, there were one, two, and three drugs which were given to all the cases. Either they are posse bacillary or they are multi bacillary, they all will receive these three drugs. So, what are the doses? The doses for rifampicin would be 600 milligram, clofazamine 300 for the monthly dose. Whereas if you talk about the daily dose for clofazamine, it will be 50 milligrams and daily dose for dapson will be 100 milligrams. But these are the doses for adults. What about the children? The children, they are, are technically divided into two subcategories, children 10 to 14 years and children, children less than 10 years. So if you talk about children 10 to 14 years, the dosage was 450 milligram for rifampicin. Clofazamine, the monthly dose, that is the initial supervised dose, that is 150 milligram. Clofazamine as daily dose would be 50 milligram and Dapson as 50 milligram. So that was about the 10 to 14 years. So now what about the children less than 10 years? Children less than 10 years, they will be given per kilogram basis. Clofazamine 10, uh, clofazamine 10 milligram once a month and 50 milligram twice weekly. But rifampicin is simple 10 milligram per kg. I think this is a standard dose and Dapson was given at the rate of 2 milligram per kg daily dose, right? So this is what the WHO had to offer. Please remember posse and multi bacillary. Now let us talk about what the National Leprosy Eradication Program had to offer. NLEP, please remember, was sticking with the, we are still sticking with the, with the earlier regime. It is not that this is the older regime and there is a new regime. It's not like that. Uh, it is just that with more evidence, we try to find that probably cl clofazamine, if you can give to all the cases, it should be good. But there are, I'm telling you uh, from, uh, from a researcher perspective, there are concerns regarding the safety and efficacy of clofazamine in posse bacillary cases, specifically talking about the children with leprosy. And considering a very low caseload of leprosy currently in the, uh, if you talk on a population or public health basis, 
the use of a risk or, or benefit uh, mechanism for clofazamine needs to be researched still even more because we are talking of side effects to unnecessary giving clofazamine to possible acillary cases. So India is a big country and we are still sticking with the same two drug regime for possible acillary that is we are giving day one. These are the supervised doses, supervised doses and we have a non-supervised doses. So we are still giving on day one rifampicin and dapson and day two till 28 we are giving only dapson to possibacillary. To multipacillary we are giving rifampicin, clofazamine and dapson as day one regime and in day two till 28 we are giving clofazamine and dapson. What are the doses? The doses are absolutely same as you had seen in WHO regime. That is the same conventional doses. Doses have not yet changed. So rifampicin 600 milligram. Clofazamine 300 as monthly dose and 50 milligram as the uh, non-supervised or the follow-up dose. Dapson was 100 milligram daily tablets. Either it is multivacillary or it is possibacillary. It is the same story. This is the dosage for adults and what about the dosage for children? Children aged 10 to 14 years. So they'll be receiving a different kind of dose which is again the same as the WHO dose. Rifampicin was 450 milligram. Dapson as half the dose that is 50 milligram. And uh, clofazamine, the monthly dose would be 150 milligram given only in multivacillary cases and clofazamine 50 milligram on alternate days to children in, uh, uh, in the non-supervised category. So the dosage chart would be something as follows for under the NLEP National Leprosy Eradication Program 2019 dosage chart would be uh, rifampicin for adults, children we have already talked, age less than 10 years in the WHO dose Rifampicin was 10, that is same. Dapson was 2 mg, that is same. Clofazamine in the WHO dose was different. In NLAP, we are giving at the rate of 6 mg per kg per month as the initial supervised dose, that is the first month dose. In the non-supervised doses, that is from day 2 till 28, clofazamine will be given at the rate of 1 mg per kg per day, which is almost equal to 40-50 mg and this is given as weekly capsules rather than bi-weekly or twice weekly capsules because in India what we are procuring is the 50 mg tablet. I hope you understand. So please remember that in India we are giving the same dosages. It is not at all different. It is the same dosages we are giving but we are giving two drugs to possibacillary. We are retaining our guidelines as far as current date February 2021 is concerned. We are retaining our old guidelines. So I think we have had this discussion that these are two or four different colors. You have the B for babies. You have the B, baby, B, B, blue and B, brown. So for babies, you have the blue and you have the brown. So that is a blue would be for possibacillary in a baby, in a child. And brown would be for a multibacillary in a baby, in a child. And for adults, possibacillary is green and pink would be for multibacillary. So this is just for those who are maybe searching on the internet about the authenticity of this guideline that I'm talking. So this has been taken from the World Health Organization 2018 update guidelines for diagnosis and treatment of leprosy. You can see on page number 17 of the same guidelines, you can see that we are uh, the guideline has recommended the following regimes. For adults, it will be three doses for posse and for multi same time six months for posse bacillary and 12 months for multibacillary and you can see that adult children and children uh, less than 10 years we have already talked about the doses if you talk about the training manual for 2019 from uh, this uh, for leprosy in india you can see on page number 18 that uh, the multibacillary leprosy for adults it has how many drugs beta how many drugs you can see we can see three drugs rifampicin dapson and clofazamine Possibacillary for adults has only two drugs I have already discussed. Multi drug regime for multibacillary in children is again three drugs and possibacillary is two drugs. The color of these arrows you might be noticing that they are different. They correspond to the same, uh, same blister color packet. So in case you forget you can remember this pink, green, brown and blue for di different categories. right? With that, I'd like to thank you so much. I hope I have clarified. In, in So if you get a question, final take home messages, if you get a question in your exam that according to the recent updated leprosy guidelines, what is the treatment? Answer would be three common drugs. But if you get a question that under NLEP, what are we giving? Which is, I doubt you're going to get. 
So in case somebody asks you very technical specific question under NLEP, what are you giving currently in India? Answer is two drug and three drug. Otherwise, there is a new revised guideline by WHO, which is three drug common drug. India has not yet accepted the new guideline. We are still carrying on with our, we are retaining our old guideline. Thank you so much. All the very best. Keep on revising. Bye-bye.